Now, I formulated a protocol right at the beginning of 2021, and I followed that protocol for six months of the year. Now, last year, I went on to make $9 million, and that protocol called Monk Mode. Now, look, balance is a lie that has been sold to you by people who want to feel better about themselves than their average. It's a little bit intense, I'm sorry, but quite frankly, it's the truth. And for me, I like the fact that I am intense, I'm immersive. When I'm working, I'm working. And here's the thing that a lot of people I, I feel is are too scared to admit. When I party, I party harder than anyone else I know. <laughs> right, so I do my monk mode protocols and I do that usually six months a year intense monk mode. Three months a year, I'm more in a party phase, right? And I kind of, you know, business takes a little bit of a back burner for me. Another three months a year, I'm kind of in a in-between phase, you know, recharge batteries before the next sort of six month sprint that I do uh, in terms of my monk modes. Now, quick little caveat before we go into today's video. I didn't know this, Jenny, when I started using the, uh, the, the phrase monk mode, uh, but apparently it's been around for a few years. I think it's there's no really sort of like hard and fast rule of what is monk mode, what isn't. I think everyone's got their own protocol. So when I say monk mode, this is just my monk mode protocol and my monk mode protocol changes. And for me, uh, I created a framework that many other people have followed. As many of you guys know, I run greenc.com where we help everyday people start online businesses and scale up to $10,000 a month in as quick as 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and sometimes as slow as, you know, 12 months or 18 months. So a portion of that program is dedicated to helping people clean up their lives. So that way they can actually go on to be, you know, in order to make $100,000 a year, you need to be $100,000 a year person, as cliche as that sounds. Um, but that's not really the point of the video. The, the reason I say that is because not only is this a tried and tested framework that I've personally used, you know, hundreds and hundreds and even thousands of other people have done monk mode as well. After me posting about it on my social media for over a year now, you know, I'm very open and transparent when I start a new monk mode cycle and I'm very transparent when I'm not in monk mode. So in today's video, I thought I would run you through a why, first of all, what is monk mode? Um, how I'm doing monk mode this time, a little bit of why I made monk mode the way I did, you know, how I structured it, how monk mode compares to maybe some of the other protocols out there. Um, and a few other things just kind of on my mind as I'm currently in day three of my next monk mode cycle. Now, whatever your goals in 2022 are, if you follow monk mode for at least half the year, I guarantee that you will achieve your goals. It's as simple as that. And monk mode really isn't about balance. It is about immersion. It is about guaranteeing success. And when I was actually outlining, and I think I've already uploaded this video, when I was outlining my goals for 2022, one of my goals was actually to do strict monk mode for six months, because I knew that if I do monk mode for six months, then no matter what, that's kind of almost a way to guarantee that the year will be successful. Because if I can do six months of immersion, right, where I'm really dialed in, and I'm not just dialed in with my work, everything around it, is uh, supporting it and it's all one big symphony working towards my success for the year that I knew that, you know, whatever my goals were for this year, they'd pretty much be inevitable. So my monk mode protocol comprises of three non-negotiables. Number one, 10 minutes a day of meditation, mandatory. Look, you will not feel the effects on day one. You won't even feel that you likely won't even feel the effects on day five or 10. But once you get into two weeks in, once you get into three weeks in, You'll notice, why am I so calm all of a sudden, even with just 10 minutes a day? You ask yourself, why am I so calm? Why do I feel so calm? Why do I feel kind of at ease? Why does my mind feel quiet? Why do things that I used to get distracted by not really pull me in anymore? Things like TikTok, things like uh, Instagram, things like mindless scrolling, things like uh, a porn, right? That's a big issue for especially men, you know, porn, uh, you know, just blowing your load into nothing like for no reason right uh, which is a big issue for men biologically what that triggers to your body is that you have accomplished your mission which is not what you want to be telling yourself when you got some big 2022 goals to hit and then psychologically what that does is it, it like no one's ever felt good about themselves or at least i don't think after watching porn right so what that does is also psychologically it causes shame and then when you have shame then you don't have respect for yourself and when you don't have respect for yourself it's very very hard to walk around the world with that sort of, you know, that's just kind of like pep in your step that you've got some time where you're like, all right, I'm like a winner. Like I got this, you know, there's a great book called The Winner Effect all on, you know, that kind of pertains to this entire topic. So as I said, you know, 10 minutes a day in meditation, that kind of helps mitigate against, you know, even the, the craving for food, the craving for mindless scrolling, the craving for all this stuff that just entirely zaps your energy. And as I said, you would be shocked. You would think that, 10, how, you know, how could just 10 minutes a day of meditation do that? Honestly, just try it, okay? So 10 minutes a day uh, meditation, that is a non-negotiable. If you wanna do more, I highly encourage that you do more. You know, um, some of my spiritual friends um, and sort of some of my spiritual teachers in the in the past 
have taught me and have told me, Iman, if you don't think that you can do 10 minutes meditation a day, that means that you have to do 30 minutes a day, right? And basically what's that's, uh, you know, what they're, what they're trying to insinuate there is if you think you're too busy to do 10 minutes a day of meditation, that means that you're someone who has to be doing 30 minutes a day, right? Because it proves the point exactly. That's non-negotiable number one. Non-negotiable number two is exercise of at least 30 minutes a day. Now, this can be in the gym. This can be a high intensity workout. This can be literally whatever you want, okay? And that means seven days a week. Now, you might train in the gym four days a week. You might, um, I don't know, you might, like, I don't know if you want to do whatever you want to do, like even skiing counts, right? Um, uh, running counts, like jogging counts. And you know, on your days off, if you want to just go for a jog, that's fine. You can go for a jog. Swimming counts, right? The point is just exercise for 30 days. Uh, and preferably, if you can get your heart rate up, you know, at least five times a week, four or five times a week, even better. But yeah, meditation, 10 minutes a day, exercise, 30 minutes a day. Those are non-negotiables. Okay. Those you cannot change about the protocol. And the third one is no alcohol or weed. Okay. I don't care what anyone says. Oh no, I'm productive. Like, you know, weed isn't addictive. I'm like, I can be productive. Uh, oh, it helps me fall asleep. I don't care. I, I really don't care what you say. Okay. None of that. No weed, no alcohol. Face your own emotions. That's one of the, the other big things that's going to come up when you do the, uh, you know, my monk mode protocol uh, is you're going to face emotions. You're going to face your own mind and your own voice. Right. You know, so often and I'm, you know, I've even been um, felt victim to this in, in the times where I'm not doing monk mode, you know, I'm like distracted. I'm like, oh, this thing or this thing or even just, you know, simple things like having music playing. You know, I like to have a bit of Amy Winehouse or, or MJ playing or, you know, maybe even a bit of rap playing or, you know, whatever it may be. When I do my monk mode protocol, for some reason, I just don't play music as much. Right. And I'm just more fine with the silent, you know, so the silence, sometimes it's silence in my head, sometimes it's demons in my head, right? But the point is I'm more comfortable facing those. So those are the three non-negotiables, okay? Now, after that, what you do and what makes monk mode so powerful, my monk mode protocol is you stack other variables and you get to choose the other variables. And I'll kind of touch on that a little later when I talk about monk mode compared to some of the other protocols out there that I still have great admiration and respect for. Uh, but the reason that I kind of built this thing out the way that it's built, as I said, I, I know that monk mode is a term that's been floating around you know way before me so i want to give sort of credit to that uh but my specific protocol and the way that i do it which has never been done before or the way that i as i said just kind of uh, uh frame things with the variables the cycles etc etc now in terms of your other uh variables that you can add no caffeine is a personal favorite of mine you know whenever i do monk mode i do no caffeine uh kind of sucks for a few days you know right now i'm three days into monk mode uh my latest monk mode cycle and um yeah, I haven't had not had a caffeine for five or six months. It's been five or six months since I've done a monk mode, which is crazy. Um, and yeah, it kind of sucks. But, you know, after like the seventh day, you realize you literally have more energy with no caffeine than you do with caffeine. Now, another variable could be stick to diet, whether, you know, if you want to do a vegan diet, whether you want to do, I personally do a, car, a ketogenic carnivore diet. Uh, six months a year when I'm doing monk mode, when I'm not doing monk mode, you know, I still, I, I don't think a carnivore diet is good all year round. But when you're focusing, it is very, very good. Uh, for me personally, you know, just I res if you're vegan, I respect whatever you do. If you're pescatarian, I, I respect whatever you do. I mean, I'll agree with it. I respect it. So, so yes, please refrain from any lectures in the comments. Uh, trust me, I've, I've done my due diligence. Another one, and this has been a personal favorite of mine in the past, is pray however many times a day. For example, pray once a day. Uh, another one, and here's kind of where for those of you guys who are using Monk Mode to really build up your business, or for example, specifically to build up your agency, do a certain amount of outreach per day. Okay. So do X amount of whatever type of outreach. So for example, let's say you're trying to get clients through Insta DMs. Do, you know, send 15 Insta DMs per day, Monday to Friday, right? Uh, or Monday to Friday, send 10 looms per day or send uh, or you do 50 cold calls or whatever it is you can do inside the business is the other issue that people face is a lot of times people set goals based on results. I like to do goals based on action, right? Action based goals. Right, because then it's easier to uh, number one, it's easier to quantify, and number two, at the end of the day, a lot of life is luck. Okay, and I understand that, and I kind of like I pay my respects to the fact that a lot of life is luck, right? Whereas action is not luck. You get to decide whether you take the action or you don't take the action. Uh, some more examples might be, um, you know, during your monk mode, you decide to delete Instagram or any social media off your phone. That could be another good one. Uh, another one maybe, you know. It can be really whatever you want, any variable you want. Maybe for you, it might even be just calling your mom every single day, right? Maybe, or you're calling your dad, you know, maybe you have a relationship with your parents that you like to, 
sort of um, uh, unify. Maybe you have a, um, maybe for you it might be giving a compliment, give at least one compliment, meaningful compliment to someone in your life every day, right? Whatever you want to do in your monk mode period, the three main things, okay, the three main non-negotiables are the 10 minutes a day meditation, 30 minutes a day exercise, and no alcohol or weed. And it's so funny because this really isn't that much, guys. It's not rocket science, okay? But yet the results that people have when they do monk mode, the results that people have shared with me when they do their monk mode is insane, right? Now you might be wondering, Iman, how long do I do monk mode for? Well, first of all, what I recommend is set your protocol, okay? So your three non-negotiables and then add some other variables, you know? I personally don't recommend you do more than six variables because I think it just gets a little intense at that point. And it gets hard to sort of keep track. So do your three non-negotiable variables plus however many other you want, uh, however uh, many others you want. Uh, and then you go from there and you figure out your cycle. So right now, as I said, I started monk mode three days ago. Uh, for my monk mode, it is very simple. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you, okay? I'm actually breaking one of the rules, okay? And I, I know this is really bad. I know I shouldn't do this and I sh probably shouldn't even be telling you guys this. Um, but I'll tell you why I've, I've broken, uh, broken one of the non-negotiables. My non-negotiables, okay? Number one, 30 minutes a day of meditation. Okay, that's non-negotiable one. Non-negotiable two is a strict carnivore diet. Okay, the strict carnivore diet. Number three is no alcohol. And number four is no caffeine. Okay, so pretty simple stuff, right? This is a very simple one because I'm going to be honest with you guys. The end of 2021 as i said i'm a very intense person i work i like to do big work periods and then when i enjoy myself i actually like to enjoy myself um so for the last six months a year you know i was drinking caffeine i was drinking a lot of alcohol i was going to 100 parties i was traveling a lot i was having a lot of fun which i don't regret a single bit of it but now you know kind of easing back into it for this first cycle i want to do something a little more um yeah i want to do an easier cycle of monk mode also environment is a big thing uh, i for some of you guys you'll know, and this is actually part of one of the reasons why I broke one of the non-negotiables. Um, I live in Dubai now, all right? Now, Dubai, especially this time of the year, January, I have every single day, I have another one of my friends land, a, a friend, a business associate, someone that I actually, like people that I genuinely really want to meet. So Dubai is a very hard place to do a very strict monk mode right now, because as much as I'm trying to stay at home and focus on this and that, uh, once or twice a week, I have to go to some dinner with uh, an old friend, an old client, like a, a uh, you know, a business associate, like someone, like just something, right? Um, whereas, uh, you know, at the end of this month, or early next month, as some of you guys know, uh, I just got a beautiful new five bedroom uh, place in Cape Town, which I'm very excited for. So I signed a 12 month lease on that. Obviously, I have my place here, and I live alone here. I have my place in Cape Town, which is mine as well, um, which is a little stupid, but whatever it is, what it is, uh, one of my best friends is actually going to be living there. Uh, and he'll be living there 12 months a year, kind of taking care of it when I'm not there as well. Um, but anyways, Cape Town is a place where I can do my most intense monk modes because I don't have the distraction of as, you know, I have a, a, quite a few friends out there, you know, definitely a, a sizable amount of, uh, of people I'd call friends out there, but not like Dubai where it's like, I have ton, tons of really, really good friends here and I've got friends and acquaintances coming all the time, right? So when I go to, I'm going to do this current cycle for 30 days. So I think I started uh, Jan 9th, or Jan 8th, something like that. Uh, and I will be going all the way to around Feb 8th or 9th. Then, I don't know, maybe I might take a couple days break or maybe I might go into my next cycle. Now, my next cycle of monk mode will probably be more intense and we'll add uh, uh, we'll add one more variable, okay? So not that much more intense, but I'll add one more variable. And that's one of the non-negotiable variables that I currently was missing. So the reason that I didn't add uh, the non-negotiable of 30 minutes a day of exercise is because for me personally, okay, I know some people really struggle with it, but for me personally, exercise isn't a thing that I need to bring myself to do. For me, it's like exercise is the thing I need to bring myself not to do. For me, it's hard to, it's, I almost have to force myself not to exercise seven days a week, right? And that's just me personally, okay? Uh, now with Dubai, um, I have a beautiful gym on the 75th floor of my apartment thing, you know, uh, apartment, yeah, we're basically where I live. Um, and it's, you know, great, great, great apartment gym, right? Pretty much everything you want, uh, bench press, blah, blah, this, that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but it's still not like up to scratch for the stuff that I do. I like to do very functional CrossFit type training. So for me to the, go to my gym, like really the closest gym that's viable for that is like eight minutes. There used to be one that was right next to me. I was very excited when I moved in, then I found out they closed and that would have been like a two minute walk. Alas, such is life. So for me, it's like a 10 minute Uber back, uh, 10 minute Uber there, 10 minute back. So that's already 20 minutes. Um, Kind of as a title 
says like for me that's genuinely at this point in my life worth like three thousand dollars just those 20 minutes right um, i made circa nine million dollars and worked on average well i guess at the beginning of the year, first six months of year probably like 50 hours a week and the last six months of year maybe 10 hours a week so it just kind of uh, evened out um so i worked around 25 hours a week uh, i'd say probably on average in 2021 the least i've ever worked in my life um and i made around nine million dollars so for me my time is really really valuable right now so for me to spend even 20 minutes in an Uber there and back, it's just a bit of a time crunch. So I try to do that four times a week. Uh, and then from there, if I was still living in London, for example, what I would do is I would just go for a walk for 30 minutes a day. The issue with Dubai is there's not walking really isn't that pleasurable, or enjoyable because the places that you can realistically walk, you know, kind of uninterrupted along the beach. There's so many people and it's just it, it personally stresses me out. Uh, Dubai is a bit of a it works for my life right now, but it, it's a bit of a stressful place. Um, to do sort of more day-to-day -day life things that I was used to growing up in London for 17 years and being able to walk everywhere and, and you know, such and such, uh, which is why I didn't include it. But remember, but I would include it, I would have included it in my personal monk mode protocol if I was a person that struggled with exercise. But because I'm so actively, I, I, I almost have to bring myself not to exercise, then it's fine. Also, another thing to bear in mind is every single morning, I start my morning with steam room, sauna, and then cold showers in between. Um... So for me, I feel as though like my body is getting sort of like, you know, I'm sweating like I am like, you know, my body is kind of being put to work uh, and, uh, you know, other days of the week uh, where I don't have that. Like, for example, I have my phys uh, physio, uh, my physio works with uh, some top level athletes, you know, works with Usain Bolt and some of the MMA guys, et cetera, et cetera. So my point is, uh, I feel as though my body is being put to work. So, yeah, that is uh, the reason I say all this is to explain you know, why I didn't do one of the non-negotiables but also to explain this idea of cycles. So as I said, I'm going to do this cycle, this cycle for 30 days. Then as I said, I might take maybe, you know, two or three days off, you know, have some drinks, enjoy myself, or maybe, and I think this is probably what I'll do is I'll go straight because I already have the momentum out of the point. I'll go straight into my next cycle. And my next cycle, as I said, will be another 30 day sprint. I think most likely maybe six weeks. And with that, I will have the exact same protocol. Those four things, 30 day meditation, uh, 30 minutes a day meditation, strict carnivore, no caffeine, no alcohol. And I'll also add uh, mandatory 30 minutes a day or maybe even 45 minutes a day of exercise. You can really set out your cycles however you want. Only thing I say is at least 21 days for your monk mode. All right, so do 21 days. You can do anywhere from three weeks to so 21 days all the way up to three months. I do not recommend you do more than three months. I think psychologically it's not good for you to be in monk mode for more than three months, but you can do it. Uh, the most that I have ever done monk mode consecutively was two months, okay? So that's for me. I usually find the sweet spot to be from, I usually find the sweet spot to be six weeks. And even if it's just like a two or three days break, and then you go straight back in again, uh, just having that two or three days, I think does do a lot for you mentally. The big thing that you need to ask yourself is environment. When I'm in Cape Town, doing monk mode is the easiest thing ever. And I actively prefer doing uh, 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 monk mode. London for me, when I was in London, it was uh, harder than Cape Town, but way easier than Dubai. You know, Dubai, I'd say is probably the hardest place for me to do monk mode. So as I said, you need to do at least 21 days. So you can do three weeks on the low end all the way up to three months. I do not recommend any more. And as I said, you do cycles. Now this year I will be doing, I've committed to doing monk mode six months a year. And I can do that in many different ways. I could, if I wanted to, I could do uh, three weeks of monk mode. Basically I could almost do every uh, month. I could do three weeks on, one week off, three weeks on, one week off. I don't like to do things that way. As I said, I'm very intense. I usually like to spend like the first six months a year doing monk mode. Uh, and then, you know, the second half of the year, kind of enjoying myself a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to do that necessarily this year. I think probably the first of the six, first six months of the year, I'll probably do four months in monk mode, two months, you know, kind of like a, you know, it's not messing around too much, uh, but still, um, uh, you know, not doing the full monk mode protocol. And then in the second half of the year, once again, I'll do probably four months kind of in between uh, and then two months hard aggressive monk mode. Um, so really what monk mode is, is it's a tool. Don't think of it as something where like, oh, damn, I have to be in monk mode or like, Think about it literally as a tool in the same way. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I don't enjoy eating carnivore, doing keto carnivore, right? Like it's not necessarily enjoyable for me to eat fish, meat. Uh, I do do avocado as well, but like fish, meat, avocado, like it's a very boring diet. But for me, it's a tool because I said whatever works for you, I respect it. But for me personally, I'm so dialed in my health, all my biomarkers, like everything that indicates is my body healthy right now. Um, are all the best that they are all year round when I'm doing keto carnivore and my mental clarity and my energy and my focus and my like how uh, uh, present I even feel, you know, uh, obviously they call meat a low vibration food. I understand that, but 
people don't have a people can't discern what low vibration high vibration means sometimes low vibration actually good it means grounded right um so anyways you know uh, uh the reason i say that is for me kind of in the same way carnivore uh, keto is a tool i use it as a tool monk mode is a tool okay think about it as like hey do i need to get something done it kind of sucks but go straight into monk mode and you'll basically guarantee that it gets done and whatever your action-based goals are they will be accomplished and as i said put them in cycles and each cycle you can you can either keep doing the same cycle again uh, or you can change the cycles based on it. things like for example for me which are very important our environment time of the year for example look in summer when it gets to june july august i never do monk mode because for me like i'm gonna be honest i, I just have i just have this natural gas like this like this turbo charge that happens in the first four months a year and i know i have it every single year so for me it's like might as well just use that right might as well just use that natural momentum i have and by the time june july august rolls around it's been like this for as long as i can remember i kind of just want to chill right and that doesn't mean that like you know i do nothing you know what? i still work in my businesses probably 20 hours a week but it's not the 50 hours a week i do or 50 or even 60 hours a week i do in you know january feb march you know that sort of time so ladies and gentlemen that is really why i structure monk mode the way that i do and uh, as I said, my monk mode protocol, like it's very simple if you break it down. I've ever said this, but like, think about it. Like all it is is 10 minutes a day of meditation, 30 minutes a day of exercise, and just don't drink any alcohol or smoke any pot. Like that's really not rocket science. And granted, you know, then you have the slots for, I, I recommend, I only, I know I'm only doing an extra one, but two to three other variables. Okay. The two to three other variables. So you have three non-negotiables and then you have uh, a total, you have five or six variables. Um, it's really not rocket science, but I have found through the years of helping thousands and thousands of people either quit their jobs or scale their online business to $10,000 a month. By the way, if you want to find out anything about that and how to start an online business from scratch, check the first link in the description. That'll take you to the brand new case study where I'm going to very quickly in 20 minutes show you exactly step by step how to start a business. And by the end of the year, get to $10,000 a month. But as I said, at that company, Gradiency, I give step by step by step detail on everything from how to run Facebook ads, Google ads, how to sign clients, how to find clients, uh, how to deal with objections, like in so much excruciating detail, it's the most advanced program out there. But it's funny, the biggest thing that people do is if they follow monk mode, like almost half the information is, is, is irrelevant, right? It, you know, getting to $100,000 a year, for me personally, and I've witnessed this with thousands and thousands of students, 50%, literally 50% of the job is just getting a person just to stop drinking alcohol, stop smoking paw, you know, just meditate a bit a day, calm the chimpanzee that's going on in their head. And that's about it. So ladies and gentlemen, I would really, and, and, and the last thing actually I want to touch on before we go here is um, monk mode compared to some of the other protocols out here. One that comes to mind is 75 hard by Andy Frisella. Now I had a buddy do 75 hard. Um, uh, you know, one of my best friends, actually uh, one of my best friends that lives in Cape Town, who's Will, uh, you know be living with me at my at my villa um and he he did um a 75 hard and it worked you know it was worked well for him it was beautiful for him um the thing is for me if you're trying to accomplish business goals and some more sort of financial goals training twice a day and i know it's not proper training twice a day but still training twice a day is pretty intense and some of the other protocols are pretty intense or some of the other variables in there are pretty intense and for me i look at that and i'm like yeah but you're not even meditating right and to me like to me, if I had to take a second 45 minute workout a day or even 10 minutes of meditation, I would take that 10 minutes any day. It's it's far more transformative for you. So for me, monk mode is um, it serves a different purpose and it's a little bit more flexible. You know, there's stuff, for example, in 75 hard and I totally, totally respect 75 hard. I respect everyone that went through it. Uh, there's just I think it's a, it's it's unnecessarily fluffy and bloated. And I don't think there's enough space for customization. So. You know, I, I totally respect it. I mean, tens and I'm sure tens, maybe probably even hundreds of thousands of people have gone through that protocol and had incredible results. Uh, I just want to structure something that kind of has a little bit more flexibility and works for, you know, uh, my students agree and see uh, and kind of just like the people I know who would watch this video in my general community. And me personally, I first built this protocol for me um, and also just like a statement to myself and also to the world and my friends like, yo, like I even have friends and they're like, at this point, they even know they're like, oh, are you in monk mode? Like, oh, like, don't want to bother you in monk mode. Or like, I even have like friends like uh, who are like, I, I, I had like five or six like personal, like good close friends of mine be like, oh, good luck with your next monk mode, right? Like it's, um, you know, I think, and, and my friends respect that as well. And they kind of know, you know, uh, don't invite Eman to, uh, you know, clubbing this night because he's not realistically going to come out or, this, you know, stuff that they know when I'm not doing monk mode. 
you know, they're like a, a lot more lenient with it. And when I'm doing month mode, they kind of respect uh, my space a little more, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So before we wrap up, as I said, go ahead and click that link down below. If you want to get started and build your online business $10,000 a month this year. Second, down below, you will find the winner for the Gaggi G1 Blue Light Blockers. These are $120 Blue Light Blockers that I sell at my e-commerce brand. Uh, and I give away one pair of these every single video. So go ahead, check down below if you want to win a pair in next video. Very, very simple. Just like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And within the first two hours of the brand new video going live, leave a comment down below. Come back to the next video and see if you have won. Now for today's comment down below for the gadget giveaway, uh, just let me know. Um, have you ever done monk mode? Uh, if you have, what was your protocol and what was your experience like? I would love to hear. I'm sure everyone else down in the comments would love to hear it as well. And that pretty much wraps it up for today. Good luck with your monk mode. I will definitely uh, check in with you guys and I might even record a day in the life monk mode edition. Uh, let me know if you guys like to see that. And on that note, catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for sticking until this point. I know that if you've got in here, then you are hungry for more knowledge and more content. So I went ahead and specifically picked out an incredible video for you to watch next that I know you're going to love. Check it out right there.